Hi everyone, I'm Bill and welcome to my workshop. Today uh, we have a new tool day. I just purchased this Inco inverter welding machine uh, that I plan to use here on my in my workshop for projects. Up until now I used uh, a relatively old AC welding machine and this is what I learned to weld on but that is not owned by me so and I had borrowed it so I now purchased a machine just for me. A disclaimer, uh, Inco is not sponsoring this so I paid for the machine with my own money and hopefully we'll see what it can do and the goal for today is to do to try it and weld a grappling hook that we're gonna use um, to clear some weeds in a in a fishing ground. So without further ado, let's start by opening the package, see what's inside, and we'll see. Uh, we'll give it a go, see how it welds. In the box, we have the grounding clamp. Uh, nothing really special there. Um, it includes the cables as well. Uh, they, they don't seem to have, who knows what big of a thickness, but I guess that should be all right. And this is the electrode clamp, which is, spring loaded and that should be um, quite tight and hold the electrode well. Uh, we also have this wire brush with a hammer to clear off those the slag. And what seems to be as a DIY welding mask with the glass and a handle. I already have another mask, so I won't be using this one for now. Uh, we have the shoulder strap for the machine and the machine itself. Okay, so here it is. Uh, well, Inco is a Chinese brand, but here locally it's um, kind of a well-respected brand. Uh, it does have a lot of machines and do okay when people are using them. As we can see from the label, the machine is rated at 160 amps, but unfortunately that's only with a 40% of duty cycle when welding at uh, 160 amps. However, up to 100 amps it has a 100% duty cycle and for me that should be relatively enough because I mostly work with 2.5 mil um, electrodes and those take about 80 to 90 amps depending on the thickness of the steel that I'm welding. Um, the output voltage is uh, 24 volts uh, on 100 amps and 26.4 volts on uh, 160 amps. So that should be um, quite okay to weld. So on the front of the machine there is a dial that we can adjust the amperage. Uh, there is a power on indicator and an over temperature indicator. So this hopefully has a thermal protection. Whenever it overheats it will automatically power off until it cools down. And we have the display for the amperage that the, the setting is currently on. So this should be zero here, all the way to 160. Uh, we will probably weld somewhere in uh, in the middle. As I said before, Inco is a Chinese brand, but a relatively uh, well-respected one here locally. I, my circular saw is also Inco, and I'm really happy uh, with it so far. On the back we have the fan that cools off the electronics. We can see the aluminum heat sinks there and we also have the on-off switch. 
So let me grab some electrodes, uh, prepare um, the rods that I'm gonna weld and we'll see how this thing performs. Um, the positive and the negative connections are marked and also color coded where the red one is positive and we have the electrode cable here and the, the other one is the negative. So the ground clamp will connect to the upper port that feels sturdy and secure and that goes on the bottom with a twist and that seems nice and secure as well. For now I won't be attaching the strap because I don't plan on working with the machine on my um, shoulder and we have the manual but who needs that anyway. Here is the welding setup that I have. I have this uh, iron plate that will be my support so I don't burn through the table that I have. And I made these two uh, spacers uh, which are about 30 degrees each. So hopefully these two pieces end up about 120 degrees apart uh, here. And that will give us the right space to add the third bar that I've cut previously on the other side uh, when we have all this uh, welded up. I'll prep up the welding machine and we'll see how that goes. I have some standard two and a half millimeters, uh, 16, 13, uh, 60, 13 welding rods and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so before I continue any further with my opinion on the welder, please keep in mind that I'm just a beginner welder. This is my second time actually using an inverter welder and only like, I don't know, 
five or ten times that I've actually welded something together. So the ugliness of the welds that you saw is just on me. This thing definitely kicks. I mean, it has so much power. I was using it, you saw before while I was welding, I was using it at around 60 amps on a two and a half millimeters uh, welding rod and it just worked perfectly. Uh, when I had it at, at uh, about 80 amps, it just uh, burned too much, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, correct me guys if, if you know better and you have better experience. But for what I've paid for this, which is about 100 euros, not even that much. I mean, this thing is amazing. The, the only downside so far that I've seen in just using it today is that it's noisy uh, and it blows a lot of air, which was cold, which is a good thing. And the leads are quite short. So, but for what I need, I think that this is perfect and will serve me really good in the, in the workshop. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions what I did wrong uh, in welding that. If uh, you have any tips on how I can improve. I know that I have a lot of uh, slack inclusions in the welds. So that's uh, the technique I have I need to work on. But other than that, I think that the machine performed perfectly. And I highly recommend that everyone should get a welder like this or a similar one. Uh, for the job in most of the videos I've seen online uh, people use welders that are rated for 400 or above amps and they only output about 120 I don't have current clamp to measure that but I think that this what it shows is actually what it outputs and it definitely can output 160 amps as stated on the machine I was welding the two and a half millimeter rod with about 60 amps and that worked perfectly. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you see more videos of upcoming projects and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.